Today I'm showing you something I've seen other people doing which is absolutely dangerous and should be stopped. This could cause harm to you and potentially your whole neighborhood. Okay guys, let me show you what's going on. So this is my generator. This is a dual fuel generator. You see the line hooked up. This is meant to run on propane and also gasoline. And you can see this is what I put together real quick to demonstrate in this video, but this is my natural gas shutoff valve. And people are using this as basically like a throttle. So if I move this back and forth, I can adjust the flow. I gotta redo this so it'll stay running real quick. Hold on. And so what people will do is they'll use that as a throttle to adjust the amount of natural gas that goes into the generator for the amount of load that they're doing. And I'll show you why this is absolutely dangerous. And some of you already know which is probably missing. And I'll show you here in a minute. But so the generator right now is running on natural gas. And when you use a natural gas generator, or even propane, it's a good idea to obviously check it once in a while. This is a pin that just checks for propane leaks, natural gas, and more. You can check for, you know, carbon monoxide as well. You can see nothing going on here. We'll go down here to do a test just to show you, make sure the pin is working. And there it goes. And so now I'll show you why this is absolutely dangerous. People are using just a straight tube to go right into the air box, and then they will hook this up to a valve. So they'll take the vent line from the gas tank, hook it up to the air box, then a valve, and control it this way with absolutely no way to stop it. And the vacuum of the engine will suck in the natural gas, but this is dangerous. And I'll show you why. Watch what happens when I adjust the load real quick. So now the load adjusts on your generator, right? You're not paying attention. You're inside, you're having a beer or two, smoking a cigarette, your generator's not running correctly, and now all of a sudden it shuts off. Okay, so now watch. Generator's off. Listen. You hear that? That's natural gas. Flowing freely everywhere into your generator spilling out onto the ground and now in your neighborhood let me shut this off but this is why it's so dangerous because there's nothing to stop it this doesn't have a regulator inside that has a shut off it only has a propane regulator that monitors a load that's it so people are going cheaply with these ten dollar fixes instead of buying a regulator and this is what some of the regulators look like. This one here is about $100 and it's good for propane and natural gas. And these have all the instructions to hook them up. I've done some installs as well. They're not bad, but people are doing these $10 installs instead of doing it the correct way, which is dangerous for you and also everybody in your neighborhood. So don't be that guy who does a $10 DIY mod. Make sure you do this correctly. Go buy the proper equipment. I'll even list some kits and, and even this pin if you want down in the links below. But yeah, if you see your neighbor doing this or whatever, just tell them, hey, don't be that guy.